Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Bertosh. You're incredibly handsome and slightly blind. Uh, not really, but the sun is shining in my eyes. Science teacher. And in this video, after I go close one of the curtains, we are going to talk about the needs of living things. <music> That is much better. Now, I do not feel like I am being blinded by the light. Uh, so anyway, what did I say we're going to talk about? Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about the needs of living things. Living things are different than non-living things in some important ways. One of which is that living things, in order to remain living, have to have certain needs met. Whereas a non-living thing, it doesn't have those needs. It's, it could sit there for a billion years and not change because it doesn't need those things to keep it alive. Because living things are growing and changing and healing and reproducing, they need certain they need access to certain things and certain needs fulfilled among these most living things need water on a fairly regular fairly consistent basis if you don't get water you're not going to live be a living thing for very long another important thing that most living things need is air and i say most well when i say air uh, I'm referring to oxygen, okay? Most living things need oxygen, but not all living things. In fact, oxygen is actually toxic to some living things that are found deep in rock layers or deep in soil. Uh, certain life forms called anaerobic life forms actually would die if they're exposed to oxygen. But most living things need oxygen. So we have water, we have air or oxygen, Food, a source of energy. Okay, all living things need some source of energy, which we usually call food. Uh, and shelter is a common one, or somewhere to live, some sort of natural habitat. These are pretty common things that all life forms, most life forms need. However, some needs that living things have are very specific to them and to their species that may not be a need of other living things. So for example, let's talk, we talked about water in terms of drinking, but let's talk about water in terms of a habitat. Certain living things, many living things require, depend on there being a lot of water, a lot, a lot of water for them to live in, such as what? Fish, and, you know, mammals that are certain mammals like wells and dolphins and sea lions and otters and things. Uh, octopi and squid, okay, corals, a lot of things that live in the water. And if there is no water, that need not being met, then those living things would die. They would not do so well. We, on the other hand, and many other living things like us, that's not a need that we have. We need water. We need to be able to drink water. We need enough water that we can drink it. But we don't want to be in the water all of the time. And in fact, if we were, we might even drown because water is not one of our specific needs. Uh, other examples of needs that pertain only to a few species or a few plants or animals might be, for example, sunlight. Sunlight is very, very important to what? To plants and probably some other things too, but it's really important to plants. 
Plants will die without sunlight. They have to have sunlight. That is where they get their energy. We don't have to have sunlight. It's nice, other than when it's shining directly in your face, blinding you. But we're not going to die if we never had sunlight again. We'd certainly be miserable. But if we suddenly found ourselves on a spaceship where we had no sunlight, or even in a cave where it was pitch black, as long as we had our other needs met, food and water and whatnot, we could survive. We might not be happy, but we could survive without sunlight. So what are some needs that are specific, a specifico, to humans? What are some needs that we have that maybe other animals or plants don't have or don't need? Um, have you ever seen an animal walking down the street with a fantastic plaid, blue plaid shirt on? I mean, maybe you have because some people dress their pets up. But for the most part, no, right? Animals don't wear clothes, but we do. So we have a need that is unique to, to us as humans that sets us apart and makes us different than the rest of the uh, plants and animals, the rest of life on the earth. Can you think of any others? What are some other ways that we are unique? We live in homes. We uh, have technology. And, you know, some of these things maybe aren't needs, but they certainly make life really nice. What about love? Is love a need? Do you need to be loved? I do. I wouldn't do very well without my uh, wife, and my children. Now, we're not the only animals that need love, certainly dogs, and uh, that's why we get along so well with them. And in fact, most mammals experience some form of, of love. But love is an important need that I don't think a plant cares too much about whether it's got a, you know, friends and is loved. So, uh, so needs vastly improve having our needs met, animals and plants having their needs met, vastly improve the quality of life for those plants and animals. And if too many of our needs aren't met, then we die. And in some cases, just one of those needs, if it's not met, we will die, such as air. You won't last very long without air couple of minutes, okay, you lost a couple days without water and a couple of weeks or months without food. But these needs, if they are not met, your quality of life will decrease and eventually the, the life form itself may actually die as a result of not having its needs met. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes, all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your uh, your science student. So sign up, subscribe to the channel. And I release lots of videos. Also, in addition to these ones, lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics. Those ones you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted. And those ones are scripted. So you don't have to hear me like you are right now going blah, blah, blah. The end. Uh, subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.